Hi, fourth graders. I know that you are doing some research right now on lots of different topics like slavery and civil rights and lots of things, different people. Um, and you're finding that when you come to the library, we have books about some of our topics, but some of them are already checked out um, and some we just don't have the books for them. So I want to remind you about a resource that you have right on your computer that can help you look for information. So when you're on your student start page, if you will scroll down to where it says Galileo and click, it takes you to a search box. Now you could go into each one of these different databases and search, but if you search up here at the top, it will actually let you search all of the databases at one time. So if I was doing a report on slavery in the United States, then I would type slavery United States and click go. Now, once your results come up, it's going to show you a whole variety of uh, resources um, that you can filter them over here to the side, but what you should look for first are any that say ebook in the title right here underneath the picture. So these first two resources, if this was my topic, I would start here because this very first book is called Slavery in the United States. If I click on the table of contents, it actually shows me each chapter title so that I could jump to a specific chapter by clicking on the link. I also could go to the index and see all the topics that are in that book. And I could turn to a specific page, just like if I was um, picking up the book off the library shelf. So let me show you an example. If I wanted to go to learn about the end of slavery, I would click on this. And it takes me straight into the book. And I can scroll down and read the entire chapter if I want to. I also have my um, different chapter titles over here to the side. You even can go to right here where it says search within and you can search the book for a specific topic that you're looking for inside the book. Up here at the top, you have a cite button. So if your teacher is asking you to show where you got the information from, you could click this and it would give you the citation that you could copy to show where you got the information from. So you would just come right down here. You would highlight that, copy and paste it into your bibliography or your resource page, whatever your teacher might be calling that part of your project. Then when you're ready, if when you're done with that, you can click on um, results and go back and look at the next um, thing that's in your list of results. Most likely the things that are at the very top of your list are going to be the things that you need. Um, so I would strongly suggest that you look in Galileo as you are researching your topics, because more than likely you will find an ebook about your topic in Galileo.